Hey guys, my name is Octoman and today I want to show you a new particle effect which is a sparkle. So um, everyone knows it in big games and stuff. There will be a lot of sparkles, maybe as bullets or maybe as something to show or actually highlight in your scene. And yeah, I'm going to show you the effect we are going to produce today. So there we go. This will be our sparkle effect. Um, yeah, which will be in a sphere and all that little sparkle parts will grow a bit and yeah, rotate slightly into different directions. This can be also be done. Um, or there can be more effects added to that small sparkle effect. So that's what we are going to do. So let's get started with that. I'm going to delete our sparkles and um, create a fresh, a new one. So what I do first is again right click and create a new particle system. I'm going to reset the, uh, the position to 0, 0, 0. So I'm going to be in the center of my scene. Um, and what you need is one of those kind of textures. Um, my texture here is a 256 uh, by 256 and you don't need any higher resolution in that particle effects or particle um, parts. Um, I made this one with a black background and then just you'd f used fall offs to the outside so I have four spikes on that um, yeah, on that um, alpha map. Why did I do that? Um, I had a question of a user why, um, if I could do something with Photoshop and show how to create um, backgrounds uh, or actually how I can export from Photoshop um, that files with transparent backgrounds. Well, basically you don't need to have transparent backgrounds. That's what, why I do that. So you use um, a black background and then just use grayscale colors from white to gray or dark gray and then um, produce your own particles. You can also use other things like whatever you want. Um, so yeah, let's get started. This is what we need or what I need. Basically, um, I need something where the center is yeah, in the center of the picture. Um, everything else would produce some problems or actually nothing we could use with the shuriken uh, particle system. So let's get started. Um, at first go again as always go to texture type and change texture to sprite 2D. This way we can yeah, make sure everything works properly. Then we go into our materials and create a new material. And I have mine here already. I'm going to, um, yeah, I leave that alone for now. I'm going to show you what the difference is between um, other particles which have a transparent background instead of a black background. So we create that new material and call that one, um, yeah. Press F2 to rename that again if that happens. Um, um, rename this one to stars or stars 001. I don't know. Or 01. It, it doesn't matter for me right now. So what I do, I go and select this one. So it's in the inspector. Go to texture and drag this one into the albedo channel. What you can see right now is that the map is has still the black background. So we need to change the shader of course to make sure that we get rid of the black background. Normally, if I have a transparent background, I use another shader, which is normally the alpha blended shader. But since this is a black one, this one will produce or would produce some weird or strange yeah, stuff in here. So you can see this is not what we want. So don't use Alpha Blended in this one. Instead, use Additive or Additive Soft. Additive just makes sure that all that grayscales works pro working properly and also this, uh, um, all the dark, the black stuff is gone. Um, if you use Additive Soft, then it will be more grayscalish and yeah, way softer and of course, yeah, looks nicer. So you make sure you whichever you want. If you want more softness um, in the grayscale itself, then just use the soft particles factor. 
So if you reduce this one, it will be later on be softer. Okay, so once we set up um, the, par the particle material, we go and um, add this one to our particle system. In my previous tutorials about particles, um, I just did all that stuff on the particle system itself, but you want to make sure that um, I know it's a bit late that information. You want to make sure that you use that particle system um, systems on empty game objects. So at first I select my particle system, create empty, um, and now the um, the, <coughs> the game object is on the right position or basically on the position of the particle system. Then I drag this one outside and drag the particle system on the game object. So now I can rename the game object something like fx um, sparkle. So everything when you use later on new spells or other things you can instead of going with a direct particle system you can just speak or actually use fx sparkle. So you can use and move and rotate and all the other things just on the empty game object and you won't ever ever um, go to the particle system itself and you can call this one whatever you want like um, PS for particle system and then maybe sparkle or sparkle one depends on how many sparkles you are going to add so let's get um, to the material part um, we I go to my materials folder I go and delete that one um, it's a bit weird that it is not shown right in the preview, but okay. So I have my additive in here, I have the softness to 1 basically for now and can change this one later on anyways. Go to the PS Sparkle, the Particle System Sparkle in the renderer and drag in the material. Now we are yeah getting all the sparkles or actually that small stars from the middle and just growing up. Um, what I want is I want them to stay all on one position. So at first I um, choose FX Sparkle, the, the game, empty game object and drag it a bit higher. And what I do now is at first I don't want any speed. So I let the speed at zero. Now you can see all of them are um, in that cone base shape um, or created in that cone base shape. Um, this is not what we want, so we go to the shape and instead of a cone we use a sphere. And since the sphere is too big and they are still too much around, I just reduce the radius to 0.01. So all of that sparkles will create it in the center of the object or in the center of the particle system. The next thing is, I want to make sure that I have a variation. Um, the variation in rotation first. So I go um, select the small black arrow on the right side next to the rotation tab or line and choose random between two constants. And what I can do is I can uh, set a start rotation of 0 and 360. So all that sparkles will rotate in 0 and 360 and we already get that small sparkling effect uh, but it's still not enough I mean it looks really nice the additive shader works really nice of course um, but it's still not what we want um, or basically what I want if you need something like that uh, then you're just done with your particle system so what I want is I want to and change the size, the start size, also between two constants. The first constant might be a 1 and the second one may be a 5. So I have a bit bigger sparkle at first, but um, we or I will reduce all the lifetime and stuff right now. So my lifetime will be at 1.8 and the duration will be at maybe 2. So I get a bit more life into that sparkle, but still um, it's yeah, really hard actually. So what we add next want is um, we want to make sure that we have, let's see, color over lifetime. 
with color over lifetime we can choose the transparency in two directions or in as many directions as we want what does it mean is i can say if the lifetime is at 100 percent i go and reduce alpha to zero so all that sparkles will blend out once they reach their own lifetime the same thing can happen when i blend them in so when they get um yeah get to life so i drag that one to the location of 50 percent click on here and create another one and this one can also be an alpha of zero so they will blend in will be full color and then blend out again so we get nice transitions between that sparkling stuff and they get blended in and blended out if you need that part in the middle bigger then just produce or create another of them just next to it choose a full color of alpha and then increase the sparkling as you need them if you don't want any of that arrows in the middle just drag them up and they will disappear in the middle or basically in that yeah they will just disappear okay that's it for the transitions blending in blending out now i want some rotation so i go to the rotation over lifetime tab once active all of them do a 45 degree sparkling um, but it's not, that's again not what I want. I go and use another random between two constants and what I want is a minus 10 and a plus 10. So they will go randomly with a 10 degree rotation to the left or to the right or anything between some faster some slower. So this is um, yeah what I want. The next thing is I want them to reduce or increase their size so I go to the size over lifetime tab activate this and in here we have a curve so I choose one of that prefabs maybe this one so over time they will um, increase the size from 0 to 1 but um, that's too much um, I want just from the middle like 0 0.5 to 1 or maybe something in between so it won't be that much and yeah that's it the last one is we can use some um, different colors on our um, sparkle so we can use a gradient or a random between two colors again so um, what we want is or what I go for is maybe some magenta and the second color will be white as you can see only the outer um, parts are um, are magenta and the middle is white this is the second color if I would do it different like this one white and the second one um, maybe red and the middle one should be or maybe I oh know it's just random again okay so this is um, just happening how it is so again I choose this one to be blue and the reddish color will be just white um, I think it's because of the additive shader that the center is going to be white and if you only have one color then everything will be blue so again back to that and I think no matter which of that colors I'm going to use the additive will still try to add some whites into the center as he is uh, um, yeah as it is doing so no matter if I use gray or stuff okay so that's it that are basically how you can create sparkle effects for maybe yeah some highlights in your scenes or something you want or the player to pick up or maybe some um, kind of bullet or anything else or projectile um, which might be shot around so don't forget to zero out the position and you to use everything else yeah just use the fx sparkle and drag this one out to make a prefab out of that so that's it pretty simple pretty quick 
um, maybe you can, you can make some good use of this um, if you want to have um, a not that hard um, yeah that hard outlines which come from the texture just make sure that you have some sec um, some um, smoother gradients to the outside to the left and to the right and then you will have a way smoother sparkle effect okay that's it um, if you like that video just um, yeah sum it up if you have any questions about sparkling effects or anything else in particle systems or whatever about unity uh, feel free to ask me even if you have a request um, just write me a message or send me a command um, or whatever and if you don't have so, um, subscribed to my channel already yeah then now is the time to do it and um, to see more videos in the future so um, yeah, see you in the next tutorial. That's it for me, for me and for now. Bye bye.